Hi folks, Simon here. Welcome to today's live stream. A uh, bit of a bonus live stream actually for you guys, since uh, the schedule that I set up recently is supposed to be Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. But you know what? I couldn't really face a day without some Final Fantasy VIII since I'm really enjoying the game right now. So yeah, I thought we'd go for at least an hour today and see how we get on there. Um, so I don't want to go for uh, too much of a stream today, so I don't want to burn myself out. Especially because I do want to stream tomorrow since a lot of people will be expecting me to since that's the schedule. Uh, but hey, like I said, a little bit here and there is not going to go amiss for sure. Uh, especially because I want to do some more videos. I'm really enjoying making videos to upload as well for this game. And I've pretty much run out of content now uh, because I'm stuck here in the Great Salt Lake. Uh, and so we do need to progress with the story just a little bit before I can continue to, you know, have footage and stuff to make those standalone uploads for you folks. Uh, anyway, how are we doing? I've heard a little bit of lag there on the audio, so hopefully you guys are picking this up okay. That sounds pretty darn... Can you guys hear that? Like, g g g g That doesn't sound good, does it? Let me just make sure that it's not on my end. One sec. Can you guys hear that? It's like lagging a bit. Graphically, it seems okay. Uh, morning, folks, to those of you that are in chat. Good of you guys to stop by. Yeah, can you guys hear that, like, fuzzy sound? I just want to know if that's me or not. Because that's going to really bug me. That is really annoying. Uh, Renoa can. Okay. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'll catch up with chat in a moment. Oh, right, you guys say it's all okay on your end. Uh, maybe it's just my headphones. One moment. I've got wireless headphones. Maybe there's some interference on them. No, no, it's okay now. Oh, phew. That's fortunate. Oh, that is fortunate. All right, then, guys. Well, welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah. Oh no, it's playing. I'm just going to turn my sound off. If you guys can hear it, then that's absolutely all that matters. I'll sort that out later uh, then. But yes, yeah, so we're going to pick up where we left off previously. Who have we got in chat? We've got Mark, Zarok, Shana, Wes, Namath, Renoa, Adam, uh, Serenity, and Red Marion. Gameslayer, greetings folks, and Adam. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit fuzzy, wasn't it? Yeah, very good, Adam, very good. Right, so we're going to make our way into the next area, which we did stop by uh, last time, but I didn't do a whole lot here, mainly because of the fact that I was just focused more on, um, you know, doing some optional stuff with Adia, who is still in our party, but I've got her out of the active party. But as you can see, she's level 100. Managed to boost her up quite strongly there. Uh, we're going to sort out our junctions for the upcoming boss. Greetings, Damon. Yeah, there's a lot of Adams in chat. Only two at the moment. There might be more later. Ah, oh, are you in the UK, are you, Game Slayer? Because here in the UK, the rain is horrendous today. It has been the last few days, actually. Which is kind of annoying. Um, because we had such beautiful weather just a few days ago. Right, there's a secret meteor draw point here. You can find it with draw find, move find. Um, but also, if you just know where it is, then you can go ahead and use it. It is actually worth, by the way, drawing magic, even if you are fully stocked, if you can find a way of doing so. Um, for example, if I go ahead here uh, with Selfie. Uh, the reason you want to draw magic is because there's actually a trophy tied to drawing from draw points, I think, a hundred times. Uh, we certainly don't want to discard all of it, uh, but what we can do is go ahead and just give Meteor to somebody that doesn't have it. Like Irvine, for example. Yeah, whatever. We'll sort it all out. And then we'll go for the draw. And then we'll swap back with Irvine. That way, you know, we're just making the most of getting that trophy without uh, too much hard work later on of having to farm for it. Right, so now we'll just sort that back out again. If I go to Magic. Uh, so much in these older Final Fantasy games is going through the menus that sometimes my mind, now it's getting a little bit older, uh, tends to get just a tad confused. Uh, let's take all. There we go. And we just want to make sure it's junctioned, since her health seems to have dropped just a little bit. Where's that beautiful meteor gone? There it is. Hey, okay, we need to heal her up. 
But apart from that, we're sorted. D Tucker Senior, thanks for subbing. Appreciate that. Right, and now we're one less needed for that trophy. Uh, Kyle says, so did to Nino Kuni. Got the platinum. You got the platinum in Nino Kuni. Fantastic, Kyle. That's awesome. And Majin John, welcome. Uh, hey, Namath, how's it going? Oh, you're on the train mission, are you? Yeah, that can be a bit of a nuisance. Actually, I didn't find it too bad, I'll be honest with you. Um, because you, you get these new button command prompts with the remastered version. Rather than having it say like B1 and B2 and all of that stuff. It's a lot easier to use. So, ah, uh, we need to actually sort out some Thundergars here. But rather than having to disconnect all of them. If we just go to Thundergar. There we go. Uh, we're just going to share a few this time. Even if we just do one, uh, five will be fine. That way we're guaranteed to stock her supply back up. Yeah, definitely a Pararist. Well done, Red Mario. I have actually got that noted down here to make sure that we mug the boss. Uh, I've only got one so far, Serenity, but I'm well on my way to getting a second. I used the first one for Quistis, which is really the most important thing, to tell you the truth, to get her limit break. But I think you can use them as well for luck junctions later on, if I'm not mistaken, off the top of my head. Um, so you might want to get three for that as well. But there should be a save point before the boss. Uh, let's just go ahead and sort out our junctions, though, just in case I've gone past that or missed it or something. Uh, right, what we want to do, we don't need to draw any magic from the boss, so we'll just go ahead and select Revive here. I'm sure you guys have guessed the strategy we're going to be using. Hey, Scabby, how's it going? Good to see you. Uh, for 10 minutes? Yeah, no, that's awesome. You got work, have you? <laughs> oh, you're ahead of me. Oh, you're beating me. Well, keep it up, dude. You know, it's uh, always a little bit slower for me, having to stream and upload videos and create content as well as playing a game. But I'm really enjoying this playthrough and uh, putting it on YouTube and stuff. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing it to the end, getting the Platinum Trophy and the like. Right, we need to make sure Selfie's got that mug ability. And she has. Yeah, I've already got that equipped. Okay, there's the save point. I knew it was close by. Um, I don't think there's really anything else we need to do. Uh, I might just go ahead because I don't expect the boss to have all that much health. And we do want to mug it. So I am just going to go ahead and remove Ultima from Selfie so that she doesn't actually kill the boss before we get the mug. So let's save again. Francois, thanks for subbing on YouTube. Uh, so we'll save again. Just remember. Yeah, I think Recover takes two casts to Renoa. Whereas Revive, which I've got equipped, um, only takes one. So, yeah, sure. I did do a video recently showing the Guardian Forces I've got equipped. But just to go over it again for you quickly. Uh, there's Zells. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. There's Squall. And finally, we have Selfie with the rest of them. So, yeah, I know that Selfie hasn't got Strength Junction. That's because I don't want her to kill the next boss. Uh, let's hang on. No, that's where we need to go, isn't it? Oh, no, it's up here. Okay. Right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see if I can get my sound working now. Okay, that's not bugging now from what I can hear. Right, an undead related enemy using recovery magic should do the trick. Um, I think you can draw flare from this boss, but you need to be, I think, level 30 on average. Obviously, you can't use level up because it's a boss. But I don't need to draw flare because I'm already maxed out and I couldn't if I really wanted to anyway because I'm not high enough level. Yeah, as you can see, this is why I took Ultimate off Selfie. He'd probably be dead if I hadn't. Right, we've got the Pararist. Wonderful. And now hopefully... Oh, I just cast Revive on the wrong person. Need to actually uh, target the enemy with it. Squall's trying to bring an already living person back to life. Maybe he was checking that he really didn't die at the end of this one. 
Yeah, it does have the El Noyal monster, doesn't it? Although we can't use level up on it. I think Red Mario confirmed that for us. Revive has a high miss chance, does it? Does Recover have a high miss chance? Because even though it takes two successful casts, it might be worth trying that one instead. I think Phoenix Down has the same percent chance as Revive, if I'm not mistaken, Car Gamer. So it's just a case of spamming the same ability over and over. But yeah, it looks like it takes a few attempts. I could probably... Oh, I've done it on the wrong person. We could just do it the old-fashioned way. Let's try a couple more. If not, we'll use Squall's standard attack. Let's go for Phoenix down as well. Yeah, to be honest with you, the whole let's cast um, revive on the enemies that are undead because it's a kind of cheaty way of doing it doesn't seem so much to be the case here, does it? Because he'd probably actually be dead had we killed him the normal way. Which is exactly what I'm going to do now. I've given up with the revive method. Yes, you can, Wes. You absolutely can. Oh, right. He's got a very high uh, physical defense, hasn't he? Okay, let's cast treatment on Selfie. And then we'll start Cure Regards or something along those lines. X Potions. Elixir. I wonder if Elixir will do it. We've got loads of those. Elixir and X Potion, I think, will do the same. Well, the mischance. I don't remember it being so bad. Okay, looks like a single elixir does the trick. And it has, I'm assuming, a much higher percent chance of working. I think recover is a good command to use. Because it doesn't instant kill, but it does a lot of damage. So next time, I'm going to recommend trying recover instead. Uh, hey, Sotus cunt. Thanks, man. Your Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy VII walkthroughs helped you platinum them. And you started playing FF9 as well. And then FF10. Oh, superb. Well, I'm glad the guides helped you, so I just appreciate the feedback. Yeah, basically then, folks, the takeaway that I've got from that fight is, although you can instant kill that boss, and I know for a fact that you can, with abilities like Revive or Phoenix Down, you're much better off just using Curing Magic, Cure Gars, or do what I did, Elixirs, X Potions, as you, you know, going to do a lot more damage uh, in a shorter amount of time, because even though they won't instant kill the boss... Obviously, it's not going to take 30 rounds like it did then. Yeah, it kind of makes sense, Red Mario. So that you can still use that mechanic, but without cheese in the fights. Which is interesting. Yeah, that's a good idea, David. I, oh, I spilled my tea then. Um, I saw... <laughs> My panic face came on for a moment. Um, I saw that uh, it would take two recovers or one revives. I didn't realise, well, I'd forgotten, I should say, that uh, the mischance was much higher with revive than it was with recover. So, yeah, just something to bear in mind for you guys anyway. Right then, let's carry on, shall we? I guess we could go back and save, but there's probably no point. Hi, Tim. Welcome. Uh... Hello, Angel. Do I think Square will remaster the 13 trilogy? Uh, no. They might. If by remaster, though, you mean... Um, oh, he said remaster. I don't know why I was thinking you were saying remake. I don't think they're going to do remakes, but remaster is a possibility. But I don't know if they're going to remaster them or if they're just going to re-release them onto PS4. But I suspect they're going to do something with them. Because it's... Pretty much free money, isn't it, for Square? But um, whether that'll be just a simple re-release, since, you know, they do pretty much stand up those games in terms of their graphical fidelity, or whether they'll remaster them to some degree, I'm not totally sure. But uh, Yeah, good idea, Martin. I don't know what happened there. I forgot it was right in front of me. I am feeling a lot better. I'm not 100%. So if I look a little bit out of it today, that's probably why. But I am much better, so thanks for asking. 
Um, do I think it's worth purchasing Final Fantasy VIII Remastered on Steam if you already have the 2013 version? That all depends if you like the new models or not, because that's the one thing that the mods can't touch. Um, I personally bought the PS4 version, mostly so I could collect trophies. It's the only way to get the game on PS4. So, and Mr. Replicant, can't believe I'm playing this game right after I finished it using a few of your tips and tricks. Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah, this game has uh, quite a lot of replayability. I've played it through several times myself now. So, right, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and move on here. I remember Final Fantasy XIII, you know, wasn't exactly my final, uh, final, fi <laughs> favourite Final Fantasy. I told you I'm not fully recovered yet. Uh, but that said, it has been a long time since I played it through properly. So I would like a re-release of it on PS4 or something. I know it's available on PC. But it'd be a good excuse to go back to that game and play it through again. Uh, right then, so here we are in the next area. Yeah, what are you playing at the moment, Zarek, in terms of JRPGs? Are you still playing Final Fantasy VII? Because that's one of those games that you start a lot, isn't it, uh, for yourself, but you never actually get to complete. So. Yeah, Esther is a little bit of a confusing place, isn't it? I always get lost here as well. You know, in the main bulk of the city anyway. Yeah, thanks Epicunt. Yeah, Final Fantasy 7 is a game I actually need to go back to. I haven't played it through from start to finish since the last time I did a playthrough on my channel, which was 2012, I think. Oh yeah, that laser cannon. I don't think I've had a laser cannon yet, Red Mario, because it's useful for teaching Christie. It's quite a nice limit break, isn't it? And I think this is the last time we get to battle an Elastoid, isn't it? And they can only mug the laser cannon. I think it's at level 30 plus. So. Yeah, Joan, using mug. If you're going to use mug in a low level game where you're trying to avoid experience, then after you've mugged an enemy, you'll need to card it. If it's an enemy that gives experience. Bosses, you don't need to worry about that, of course. But you'll need to card it to avoid experience. Or, if you want to escape, you can still escape. But you need to make sure that the person that's mugging has uh, the elements that would heal that enemy on their state... Oh, sorry, on their elemental attack junction. That way, when you mug, instead of doing damage, you'll heal it and you won't get experience then. Oh, well, that's pretty good, Zarek. You've already got past where the remake is going to finish, haven't you? I actually think I preferred Final Fantasy XIII too, even though some of the characters were more annoying. And the story wasn't great. I, I just preferred the gameplay of XIII too than the original. Hey, Yum Yum. Yeah, I'm going for a bit of a bonus stream because I was feeling like I needed more Final Fantasy VIII in my life today. Uh, plus the fact that I didn't have any content for you guys because I was stuck in the Great Salt Lake. So I needed to advance a little bit. And here we are in Esther. Oh yeah, that's right Red Mario. Although I think Elastoids are the best place to uh, get those laser cannons, aren't they? Although, unfortunately, they also have a rare drop that isn't a laser cannon, so there's a chance that you don't get it, which is really annoying because you might have to reload then, or I might have to. Yeah, definitely, Joan. You have got a couple of options in order to mug enemies so that you don't get experience. But yeah, you do have to bear that in mind that if you do mug and do damage and then just try and escape, you will unfortunately still get XP. But yeah, when I was mugging the Marlborough enemies, I was escaping from those battles and just having bio on elemental attack. That way you could mug them without doing any damage uh, and then escape for no experience.
Oh, we've got to sort the junctions out again, haven't we? Uh, it's all screwed up the way the junctions work here. It just, look, there is no junctions at all on Selfie or Zell when you do this. I just don't get it at all. You have to junction manually, which is really kind of annoying. Well. Okay, uh, we've only got Laguna right now. We'll start by chatting to the soldier. Uh, could have been something in Ultima Seer's castle. You can get them from other enemies. I think Red Mario actually mentioned one already. Ah, okay, Red Mario. That sounds like an interesting way. Uh, Lightning Returns. I couldn't really get into that one myself. I know a lot of people have said it was really good, but I just didn't really like the whole timed mechanic on it. As you guys know, I very much enjoy playing my JRPGs slowly, taking my time, getting as much content done as I can without feeling rushed. Uh, and I never really was able to do that, I felt, in Lightning Returns, so it just wasn't my kind of game in the end. But... I know that's subjective. Like I said, a lot of people liked it, and that's fine. Right, we need to sort out Junction soon. Uh, let's just make sure we keep advancing the story for now, though. Yeah, if you get the Royal Edition of Final Fantasy XV, then I think you get all of the content outside of one bonus episode, which was the last one they released. So you get all of the content pretty much, which is really useful because a lot of the story was disjointed in XV without the DLC. <laughs> oh, I don't think it is, Tim. But it could be. I don't recall it being on any of the classic consoles uh, re-releases. But maybe it was. I'm kind of hoping for some sort of remake. You know how they're remaking the Trials of Mana series? And it actually looks pretty darn good. I'd love them for, uh, for them to do that to some of the older Final Fantasies. I know that Final Fantasy 3 and 4 have kind of had 3D remakes. Well, they have. It's not you know, a kind of situation. It is an is situation. Um, but I would like to see something similar for Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, we get prompted to check Junction soon, don't we, Red Mario? For sure. So, yeah, it's important we do. Speak to the Moomba. I will be honest, I've only played six through, I think, once to the end. And I, I did play the entire game, and that was... Probably around the year 2000, because it was shortly after I played 7 and 8. But I do remember that I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I thought it was absolutely a fantastic game. I really did. I think I had the PlayStation version. Ah, oh, okay. That makes sense. It's just dubbed Final Fantasy 3, which um, is what it was originally released as in the US, wasn't it, back in the day? Since the US uh, skipped a couple of uh, Final Fantasy releases. I think we need to speak to this guy a couple of times. Oh yeah, I never played Super Mario RPG myself. I never actually had a Super Nintendo when I was younger. I always had a Mega Drive uh, or Genesis for you Americans. So I was always more of a Sonic player than a Mario player. Not out of choice, that's just what my parents purchased for me. 
but obviously it meant I never really got to experience Final Fantasy until the uh, release of Final Fantasy VII in 1997. I'll tell you what, going from Sonic the Hedgehog to Final Fantasy VII, it really changed my views of what gaming could be. Not that there's anything wrong with Sonic, but obviously Final Fantasy is a very different type of game, so... Possibly Sotus. For, yeah, possibly. I mean, Final Fantasy XII, um, I actually really like. Now, back in the day when it was first released, I think it was something like 2006, I did complete it, but it wasn't really a memorable experience for me. But since I've been playing the Zodiac Age the last couple of years, I think I found a new, you know, a new fan appreciation for Final Fantasy XII. I've already played it through a few times right to the very end uh, since it's had that Zodiac Age release, so I do like that game. I think it was ahead of its time in many ways. But yeah, Final Fantasy XIII, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it. I would replay it if they re-released it, but it was disappointing in some regards, as was Final Fantasy XV. Uh, I think that makes your party completely invincible, Serenity. For the duration of the battle. So. Pretty darn powerful. But it's only for one battle that you use it in. Hey, Aiden. Yeah, just made our way to Esther. So we're just going through the dream sequence here. And then Squall and his party shall be present in the same place. Ryder, thanks for subbing. Yeah, you're in the same situation as me then, Tim. Not that I want to sound ungrateful. I loved my Mega Drive slash Genesis. Many hours of fun were had with it. I just never got to experience the SNES side of things, really. Although I did have some friends that had the Super Nintendo. But obviously, you only get to play that when you're around your friends' houses. So. Uh, use break on the Esther Soldiers. Yeah, good idea, Red Mario, since we're still keeping levels low. Yeah, absolutely, car gamer. Sega, well, at least as a hardware manufacturer, were obviously not able to move into the, uh, you know, the concurrent generations, were they, like Nintendo were. Nintendo is still rocking it, aren't they, with the Switch and the Wii U and everything that came before it. Oh, flip! I've got to kill this one because I don't have uh, magic. Oh, well. A little bit of experience never hurt anybody, did it? I'm not reloading for the sake of one level. Unfortunately, we do level up. Yeah, I need to get the magic command on there. Uh, I'm not sure, Dave. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does wear off then. I didn't think it did. It shouldn't for ten dark matter. But yeah, you're probably right. Hey Steve, welcome to the stream. Just got back from your operation. Well, I hope it went okay. Hope you're not feeling too groggy, which you can do, can't you, after operations? Yeah, a bit sore. Oh dear. Have they said how long it's going to take to recover? Yeah, thanks for subbing, Sotos. Appreciate that. Right, this is where we get to Junction, our other party members. <laughs> Better check. Right, so we're going to junction them. Uh, and then on top of that, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we can cast magic. Okay, oh, sorry, cast break. For obvious reasons. Since we don't want to get any more experience than we had to get just a moment ago. So let's just sort Laguna out first with his abilities. Get rid of item, put magic on there. Uh, duh, 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 duh. We also need to make sure for later that somebody has the level up ability. Whoever it is that has Tombri, I guess, can do that, can't they? 
like Kiros. So I would give him my magic setup normally. Uh, what have we got here? Yeah, let's go for magic draw, and uh, I guess we can go for treatments. Right, that'll do. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Ah, come on, Ward. Hey, 13th Gaming Clan. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this playthrough. Right, we're going to give Ward the level up ability. So we'll give him magic as well. Let's give him... Oh, I don't suppose it really matters. Let's give him draw in case there's anything. Uh, level up, so that we can level up the Elastoid. Can have a bit of an HP boost. Uh, auto haste is always useful, of course. And for his third slot, uh, give him something defensive. Uh, let's just go for Vitality. Take a little bit less damage than normal. And let's heal up, and then we're sorted. For now, anyway. Hey, you can see chat's picked up a bit. Hey, Corey. You had a busy morning, have you? <laughs> oh, no, meetings getting in the way of streams. Oh, that's real life for you, unfortunately. I find it often interferes in things. Yep, definitely got the break spell. Let me just check, though. Uh, da, 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 break. I should have the break spell. I don't think that Laguna has it. But I think the others do. So, Kiros. Yeah, Kiros has got break. And I think Ward should have it also. Yeah, he has. So I'll just check again to make sure that both Ward and Kiros have the magic command. I wouldn't have not given it to them, would I? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's really annoying, Steve. I don't know why you can't, when you trans... Look, this is what I don't get. Why is it when you enter these dream sequences, you select which characters um, Ward and Kiros take the place of? But it doesn't actually transfer the junctions across. What is the point? What are you actually telling them that you're selecting those characters for? I don't get it. It's really weird. Doesn't seem to make sense to me. Okay, so we can cast Break on these. Thanks to the tip from Red Mario. And, ah. Oh. Does that guy need to be carded? I'll be really annoyed if he does, because I didn't put card on an... Oh, no, I did. I'm okay. I'm okay. Whew. Right then. Uh, so let's try and break it first. You never know. It might work. But let's break the others. Oh, no. He's got Reflect. We need to dispel Reflect. Or is it only Elementals that get Reflected? No, we're okay. We're okay. I just had a panic attack then when I saw that. Oh, they get the magic pool, don't they, David? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that one didn't work. That's annoying. Usually it succeeds. Maybe the others have to be taken out first, perhaps. Yeah, you just heal Ward for us at 8 points. That's fine. Okay, I don't think Break works on these, unfortunately. Which means we probably need to go ahead and do a little bit of damage to it. But I don't want to kill it, see anything. Let me just try and break this one again. <laughs> you leave for work at 2.30, do you, Natalie? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I'll make sure to change the stream schedule. <laughs> I do try and stream, at, you know, multiple days if it helps. Right, I don't want to kill this guy. Maybe we should level him up for a bit first. Okay, yeah, I suppose you do need to get Siren to level 100 if you play in the PlayStation version, don't you, Red Mario? Right, I don't want this guy to die, which is why I'm levelling him up. Let me just see how much health he's going to have. I think we need to card him. Maybe we can card him. I'm assuming we can.
2,400. Okay. I think a nice attack from Kiros shouldn't kill him. Let's see if we can card him now. Although it's possible you can't card these enemies. So there's a, actually a good chance that we're going to have to get experience from this guy. If he can't be carded or broken with break. Hey Jack, thanks for subbing. And now that I've leveled him up, he's going to actually be uh, more XP worthy. I'll try a few more breaks. Oh, it works. Break works. Uh, I'm still going to get experience though, because I did damage to him, didn't I? Right, can you not break this last one, the boss? Yeah, it's missing every time. I get the feeling you can't break this one. It ain't happening, is it? It is not happening. I'll try two more. Hey, Jaycost. Do very well. Thanks. How are you? Yeah, I did lower the HP, Renoa, of the one I was trying to card. Oh, yeah. I think you're right there, Tim. It says cannot be carded, doesn't it? I think we were just missing. I had lowered its H HP, though, so we should have been able to card it. This guy, though, is not saying it can't be broken or anything, but it just isn't happening. I think we're going to have to kill it. I uh, don't think we can card this enemy. Yeah. We'll have to kill it then. Get some experience, I think. Unless maybe it doesn't give experience. Yeah, it does. Ah! Although, did we get experience from the guy that we couldn't break? Or did we get experience from the guy that we did break but it attacked before and did damage to? Hmm, interesting question. I think we actually got experience, not from the guy that we couldn't break. I don't think he gives experience. I think we got experience from the guy that I attacked after levelling up, that I tried to card, but failed, and then break worked against him. Yeah, good point, Red Mario. I don't think I need to do that anymore. I think we're okay now. I think it was just those enemies, because uh, I don't think... I can stick it on. Is it Ward? I can't remember. Ward or Kiros. Yeah, Ward. Okay. Right, let's go up. It doesn't matter if you get a few levels. You can easily max your stats out later, even if you can't get the absolute most amount of per... Uh, of a permanent stat boost from the GF abilities. So. Yeah, Red Mario said, Davey, that that last guy is immune to break. Which kind of makes sense. It just wasn't working. Oh yeah, thanks Renoa. You're right, there is a weapons monthly magazine. It's lying on the ground, isn't it? <laughs> That's democracy for you, Tim. <laughs> At least he was elected. Right, we just need to keep approaching him, I think. Does he always run with his head down like that? I've not noticed that before. That's weird. I'm guessing not. Oh, I daren't try, Sotos. Sometimes I do do a bit of quality voice acting, but because of this cold I've got right now, it just wouldn't work, I assure you. <laughs> yeah, good point, Red Mario. Gotta level that guy up.
I'm pretty sure <laughs> that we just keep talking to these NPCs, to Dr. Odin, and then we kind of get thrown out automatically. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was waiting to happen. Yeah, absolutely, Renoa. Thank you for that. We're going to be going back in in just a moment once we get control. It wouldn't be a pretty sight, David. I can assure you of that. Yeah, go for it, Red Mario. Do you prefer the original version over the remastered version, do you? Uh, I think that's the one I've already got, Tim. I think I got it a couple of episodes ago. You can only get it with Zell in Ballam Town, if that's the one you're talking about. Other than that, I don't think there's a comeback king coming up that I know of. Not anytime soon, anyway. Oh, is that does that require Zell as well, does it, Renoa? I did not remember that. Ah, okay, Phantom. Yeah, thanks for confirming. That's what I thought. Yeah, I screwed that up by attacking the guy on the left, thinking I could card him, which I probably could have if I kept at it, and I wouldn't have got experience at all then from that fight. Uh, although Break actually worked on it anyway, so we just needed to break the two adds, and then the middle guy we could have just killed normally and not got any experience. Ah, oh, okay. I was thinking of the Combat King that you get from Ballam Town that I got recently, because that required Zell. Oh, it's a cult, is it? Okay. Right, we'll use the draw point. Death isn't that exciting. We'll have to make room for it. But again, um, I am trying to use all the draw points successfully here just because of the fact that we want to get that trophy without having to farm for it later. You have to use 100 draw points, I think it is. Or something uh, of an obscene amount. Yeah, let's just move death over to somebody else. That might. Oh, we can't, can we here? Ah, oh, I don't really want to get rid of death. We won't be able to draw it then. Okay, let's just save our game. I'd have to delete 100 death off somebody. No. Nope. AMC, welcome. How's it going? Right, so we're going to pop back now into the previous area to grab the magazine. There we go, the Weapons Monthly First Issue. Hey, Lego and Switch. Welcome to the stream. Oh, yeah, I didn't update the uh, title, did I? I'm just going to do that now. Thanks for pointing that out. Esther stuff. Let's give it a really complicated name, shall we? Right, sorted, fixed. Thank you. Uh, we need to go back down now in the elevator. Yeah, thanks, Jay. Because the only downside is that was for the last stream. We went to Adia, sorted all her stuff out. Then we moved on to the Trebia region. Uh, unfortunately, it kind of doesn't fit when you just go into Esther, which is what we're doing today. Yeah, thanks, Red Mario. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to make a video on it after, since it's helpful to people to get the... Uh, laser cannon, isn't it? Which is a fantastic thing to give to what's a face, the Quistis. 
So first of all, we are going to try and break these guys. Can we break this other one, or is he unbreakable? Like the last one was. If he's unbreakable, he should be no experienceable, if that makes sense. I think just that enemy type is unbreakable. So let's level up the Elastoid now. To level 30, or whatever it is. Let's see what level he is. Went up by 12. We'll see, I probably need to cast level up once more to get it to 30. Okay, so we need to level it to 48, unfortunately. And we need to card it as well. Since we're going to do damage to it when mugging it. Hey, fantastic Lego and Switch. Yeah, card rules can be a right nuisance, can't they? So it's always satisfying when you get them to your liking. Well, let's try and get that laser cannon now. Yay, we got it first time. Now, there is a chance that you won't get laser cannon. There is a rare drop, um, which you don't want. So you might have to reload. But fortunately, the save point's just outside if that happens. Which isn't really a big deal, is it? I'll try another break on this guy, but I'm pretty sure he's immune. Uh, let's just go for one attack here. Do a little bit of damage. Try and make that car chance more successful. I wonder how much health this guy's got. I just need to know how much damage I should be doing to him. Because the more health that it has, the less chance you have of carding it, you see. Oh, please, Serenity. That would be horrible. I would hate that trophy. Uh, he's got 4,000, so I could probably do a little bit more damage to it than I'm currently doing. Before we try carding it again. Let's attack it a couple of times. Right, and then we'll try carding it again. They're really strange, these enemies, aren't they? These Elastoids. Yay, got the card off. And that guy's down. So we shouldn't get experience from this fight, even though we killed that guy normally there. Uh, to get Comeback King 4, you have to go to the path above where the Fixed Down Oil would appear later on. And then talk to Nessar with Squall, then later his elves team return there. Okay, Red Mario, it's good to note. Oh, we did get some experience. Don't know how we got that. Did I attack another enemy? Must have done. I'll tell you what, trying to avoid experience in this dream sequence is a right nightmare in and of itself, isn't it? It really is. I thought I did everything perfect, then I'll have to go over the footage. I must have hit something without realising before casting break. Must have been on the other soldier, perhaps. I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We didn't level up or anything then. By the way, you can also draw Meltdown, I think it is, from that enemy. Although I'm already maxed out on Meltdown, so I don't need to. But you can do, if you need it, obviously. This is one lengthy dream sequence, actually. I forgot how long it was.
Make sure I've got a screenshot of that so I know what I'm doing. In case I forget. More to remind me than anything else. Oh, I'm terrible normally when it comes to save points. Um, I think it was Final Fantasy VII I was streaming on the Nintendo Switch. Maybe Final Fantasy XII, I can't remember. But after two and a half... No, it wasn't actually. It was uh, Tales of Vesperia. And after a two-hour stream or whatever it was, um, I forgot to save my game. And then we started the next stream and everybody realised we were back at the very same starting point as the previous stream. And that was the first I realised that I hadn't saved. Yeah, that was an embarrassing situation I do not wish to repeat. Hey, Jamin. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> and we've got more soldiers to try and avoid experience on. Let's see if we actually succeed this time. Uh, it looks like both of these are the kind that we can just cast break on. Where is break? There it is. Well, one down. Oh, awesome, J-Man. Yeah, have fun with that. Final Fantasy X is a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, no experience. At last, we've got it down to a T. Which is good. Right, there's a draw point here. Is that the draw point you're talking about, Renoa? Double. It's a bit annoying that I can't actually transfer anything across to anybody else because we've only got three people. Uh, I did an Arbushy. I need to play it again at some point. I'll probably have to start it again if I do, though, because it's been so long since I last uh, attempted it. Did you ever complete it? Hey, Kirby. Yeah, good of you to stop by. How's it going? Which Final Fantasy has the, the darkest story? Um, from the PlayStation era onwards... I guess all of the stories tend to get a little bit dark. Uh, maybe Final Fantasy VII. When you think about uh, Sephiroth and everything he's trying to achieve in just bringing about the entire destruction of the planet for his own ends. That's pretty darn dark really, isn't it? Although the more I think of it, so are the other Final Fantasies because, heck, even Final Fantasy XV is pretty dark. Look at Ardyn and everything he does. So I don't actually know which is the darkest, but there's definitely quite a few that would be dark for sure. Yeah, is Tales of Vesperia your favourite, Arbushy? I think that's the only one I actually played myself. Or is there another one that you'd recommend over and above that one? Oh, okay, Renoa. What is in that hidden draw point, you know? Might be too late now that I've gone past it. Uh, these are the ones that are basically unbreakable, aren't they? Yeah, these are definitely unbreakable. Uh, I will certainly be planning on covering the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to it. I'll be streaming it, uploading videos for it. I'll just be covering the heck out of it. 
Um, the Witcher 3, I've never streamed it. I have played it. They must be cardable, those enemies, because they're not breakable. I had no idea they were going to give experience then, either. I'll see if I can find it without equipping move find. Ah, there we go, Flare. Yeah, thanks, Renoba and Red Mario. Um... Has everybody got flair, have they? Let me just check. I would like to get it if possible. Yeah, everybody's got flair. I can't draw it, unfortunately. It's annoying because there is that trophy to draw from draw points only for 100 times. And every time I'm maxed out, I can't add to that total. Yeah, I think I remember a few people talking about that one, Arbushy, when I was streaming Vesperia. Recommending it. So... Yeah, no pops, Philip. We've got through another dream sequence, at least. Oh, no, Serenity. You're spoiling it. At first, Sotus, I was not on board with that idea. I know a lot of people still aren't. Um, and, you know, obviously Square are doing it because they're trying to milk it. There's no other reason for them to do that. And they are a business, so that's understandable. But seeing as how that's what we're getting, whether we like it or not, I have actually come on board with the idea. And it means more Final Fantasy VII at the end of the day. Which can't be a bad thing, ultimately, if you're a fan of the game. So, yes, it's annoying for those that really want to get through the entirety of the experience. They're not going to be able to do that immediately. It's going to take a few years. But hopefully, in the long term, if the game's actually good... You know, we're going to have a lot of Final Fantasy content on our shelves, aren't we? Final Fantasy VII content. Yeah, we've had it for ages, haven't we, Red Mario? Well, that's awesome, Lego and Switch. I have actually pre-ordered the First Class Edition. That's the one with the soldier. I've just got to save up for it. Um, I pre-ordered it, but I might cancel it if it gets closer to the date and I can't really afford it. And then at least it'll go back in stock for somebody else to buy it. But I would like to get it if I can. Because I think it comes with an extra summon as well, which is kind of annoying. That they would include a digital item like that, DLC, with, a, for, with an edition of the game that costs so much. I understand the statue uh, is what's boosting the price there, but that really should have been the only exclusive thing in that edition. Or at least, you know, physical items. Uh, uh, what was that? So, yeah, I wasn't actually paying attention to what I was doing then because I was chatting to you guys. Yeah, it's the black controls, isn't it? Yeah, on the right-hand side. Yeah, thanks, Red Mario. I wasn't even paying attention, to tell you the truth, to the console because I was chatting. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't get flares from Diablos myself because of the fact that I was still low-level. Oh yeah, Jacos. You know they're gonna do that. One, th yeah, they have said that, Sotus. Uh, and you're right about Crisis Core. One thing they've actually said, I don't know whether this is pe something that people are unhappy with or not. I haven't asked you guys what you think of this, but one thing that Square have said is that even though they're expanding on the story for the Final Fantasy VII remake, all of the Final Fantasy VII compilation as it currently exists, so Crisis Core, Dirge of Cerberus, Advent Children, um, Before Crisis and all of that stuff, is not canon. They're not drawing from that. That's all getting pushed off, I guess, to legend material or whatever they're going to call it. So only the original game is canon. But I guess even that is not strictly canon in the sense that uh, they're going to be making changes to the story. So as far as the Final Fantasy VII remake is concerned, uh, only that game itself is going to be canon to itself, if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely Red Mario. I've maxed out on Meteor and Flare now, even as a low-level player here. Right, we can say hello to this guy and then just move through here. I think that brings us to the end of this dream sequence. You see, I was looking Serenity 
maybe I'm wrong, but I was looking, and it definitely says that you do not get everything in the Digital Deluxe Edition. I'm just going to have a look, very briefly, because I think this is quite confusing the way they've worded this. Final Fantasy VII Remake Editions. Let's see what comes up there. Right, this is what it is then, folks. Because I, I do want to get this confirmed. If I just go across... Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm just going to come off the game for a second here. Oh, wow, that did not work very well, did it? Okay, that's okay. Can you guys see that okay? Hopefully you can. Um, yeah, look, this is the Deluxe Edition. And it comes with the Captuar DLC and the Chocobo Chick. Okay, that's the Deluxe Edition. But then, the First Class Edition... Also comes with Carbuncle, see? So, that's the uh, first class edition with Carbuncle, Cactuar and Chocobo Chick. And then the Deluxe Edition, there's nowhere on there about Carbuncle being included. So, are they including that digital item only with the first class edition? Because that's kind of sucky on behalf of Square, I think, if they're doing that. That'd be really annoying. Yeah, let me know if I've got that wrong, guys, but that's the way it looks to me. That's a nice scene to end the final dream sequence here. If you get it off the PS Digital, you can get Carbuncle. Okay, that makes sense then. That makes sense. Okay, so you can get, if you get, so what we were looking at then is the physical digital, no, the physical deluxe edition, and that doesn't come with Carbuncle. Why is that? That still doesn't make sense, but the digital version does. Okay, so you can get all three DLC bonuses without actually buying the first class edition. Which is better. Although it's still kind of confusing the way it comes with the digital version but not the physical release. I, I've got to be honest with you guys, I'm not a big fan of pre-order DLC and stuff like that. I understand why they include it so they can sell the more expensive editions and stuff but it's just annoying really. Well, I think they're exclusive, it says Arbushy, which probably means you can't get those ones in-game. But I'm sure you can get other summons and stuff in-game. Well, we can, because we've already seen Shiva and Ifrit. Uh, get Ward card off, Doc Ode. Yeah, good idea, Red Mario. I was actually planning on that one. Um, as soon as we're in control, we can do that immediately, can't we? I don't want to mix central rules, though. So we'll need to save before we do it. Uh, we should be able to spread open here, shouldn't we? Quite easily. <laughs> yeah, I remember those days, Tim Yak. Uh, I haven't heard about those material yet, unfortunately, Jason. I'd expect it to have mime. I don't know about Knights of the Round. I'd love it to have Knights of the Round, but maybe that'll come in one of the later episodes of it. Yeah, that's true. Final Fantasy 15. You can get the Royal Edition now, can't you? I think it is. 
which includes everything except the final DLC episode. Uh, no, it won't be gone if you save Red Mario, as long as you don't trigger the next story bit. But I just want to make sure, where's the next save point? Well, the only rules, as far as I know, in Esther are same wall, I believe it is, or is it same plus? But whatever it is, they're actually hidden, so they don't appear here. Um, I don't know where the save point is. Can anybody remember? I don't want to trigger another scene, you see. Which is kind of uh, annoying, because I do want to get that card. But it's been a while since we saved. Uh, the save point's a bit of a mission away, isn't it, I think? Alright, so if we just speak to him. Yeah, I'm not going to risk saving at this point. Uh... I think we're carrying Sentra rules, which means we should be able to spread open. Oh, it's Galbadia's rules. I can't even remember what rules I've got in Galbadia. I'm not going to mix rules then. We'll just have to probably make do without open while we try and win the card. Oh, is it outside, is it? Okay, let's risk it. I think we can do it. I think we can get to the save point. Let me just make sure that we can still get back in and speak to him. Hey, Nicole! Yeah, doing very well, thank you. How are you, Nicole? Are you going to leave and go by the airstrip? Okay, I'll, I'm not going to risk it then. Because there's probably a good chance that Odin will be gone by the time I get back. So we'll just try and battle him. There we go. He stopped asking to mix rules now. I don't think we're going to have open here, unfortunately. Um, but we should be able to win. Without too much trouble. I can't... Does anybody remember the stats of the ward card? Hopefully you can't take Ifrit here. Okay, there's ward. Just kind of warding about up there. Uh, let's just stick something up. Anything really. I'm just playing defensively for the time being. Hopefully I'll block ward off. Uh, I could risk taking this card. He'll probably take... Yeah, take that back. Okay, we should be okay to win, perhaps? Yeah, okay. We got it. That's what counts, we got it. Right, we'll have you. It doesn't really matter what else we take. I've got all the items from those other cards that we need. Okay, Renoa. So we can actually have risk going to save, can we? Well, okay. We will sort the rules out in this area. Yeah, I kind of get the feeling though, Tim, that the computer cheats because... It already knows what cards you have since it's actually put them there in your hand. Whereas you don't know what the opponent's playing. But yeah, it is. it was quite fun. It is quite fun. But it gets a point once you've played so many hundreds of triple triad games. You just want to get through them. It's still a fun game though. It's one of my favourite mini games for sure. So Final Fantasy VII Remake Digital on PlayStation Store. The pre-order bonus is Chocobo Chick. But downloading it gives you Cactuar and Carbuncle. Okay, Serenity. And it's $74.99. Right, okay, well, that's good to know then. That's good to know. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Red Mario. There is, but I think it's... Uh, somebody's mentioned it's by the airstrip, so it's a little bit of a... Uh, you know, it's quite far away and stuff. So... Well, this is where we've got to be careful not to get lost now. Which is kind of annoying.
Let's try and speed things up a bit. Oh, I don't want to go that way yet. I don't think. Well, maybe we can. Let's just speak to these soldiers see what we've got out here. Okay. So, it's kind of linear at least to get outside. I just wanted to make sure that we weren't going to miss anything that way, but we can't go anywhere. So, we'll leave the palace. Right, I think we can get the occult. Is that the one you guys were talking about? Occult fan number four? Right, so we've got a draw point here. Uh, Blizzard. Oh, I see you, Nicole. Sounds like you've had quite a busy and hectic uh, life recently. Yeah, I'm really enjoying uh, playing Final Fantasy VIII again. It's been a while, but seems I've got right back into it. Okay then, Shana. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, enjoy work. I'm just trying to familiarise myself with the city again, you see, guys. Okay, this is where we have the uh, bulk of the transportation hub. So if we go up this time. Oh, hang on, who've we got here? Oh, nobody. These are just random people we can speak to. Except this guy, apparently. Hey, Elijah. A cult fan and king f uh, for, yeah, from what people were saying in chat, the combat king is a little bit more annoying, isn't it? Okay, the presidential aide. I think we just need to speak to him in order to trigger the scene that gives us the occult fan. I could be wrong. Let's go back. I think that's all we need to do. As long as we spoke to that guy. I seem to remember there being more dialogues the only thing. But we'll find out, I guess. He only gave like one line of dialogue, didn't he? Which isn't, isn't really a whole lot. So we'll see what happens. Oh, I know, Sotos. The problem with these little tricks that you can do now is when you never had them back in the day, you never knew about them, you never missed them. Uh, but once you've tried them, you kind of like can't live without them, can you, sort of thing. Ah, okay, here we go. Yeah. Right, that's how you get a cult fan for. So you need to speak to the presidential aide the guy that gave one line of dialogue back out in the city. Uh, and then when you come back and speak to the secretary there, she leaves behind a cult fan four. Right, so next up then we'll try and get comeback king number four. We'll see what happens. Might not be able to get it. But you never know. Stupid draw point getting in the way. Well, I think we need to go this way. Talk to this guy. Is this the guy we need to speak to? I think it is, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's right. Okay, I actually don't think we need to do anything else right now. Even though it doesn't give a lot of dialogue, I'm pretty sure that's all we need to do. And then later on, we'll be able to get the combat king number four. Yeah, go to that Esther soldier as Squall's team. Hey, Isaiah. Welcome. Yeah. 
Right. So next up, I want to try and find the save point if we can. I think it's this way. Near air station, is that right? Or was it just before that? Or was it in air station? No, we can't go in. Yeah, I think we just need to make sure we've spoken to that soldier as I just did there. Ah, there's the save point. Right, let's go ahead and get a beautiful save in. It's felt like it's been a while since we managed to do this. So, kind of worth it. Unlock all the shops. Yeah, good idea. Get them added to the list. There's about five, isn't there, I think? If I'm not mistaken. Like five shops or something. Oh, yeah, is that the thing that heals us? I'm not going to use that because I need to try and get used to the city layout at the moment. So the shops are this way. I remember that for sure. Well, at least the shops are fairly easy to find, aren't they? Um, I think we just need to access them once. Hey, look at that. Cloud shop. <laughs> Do we actually need to open them, or can we just read their titles? And is that enough? We're trying to get to exit here. That's not happening. Maybe we have to actually access one. Okay. Morning, Dump. Uh, you can get the free Rosetta Stone from Cheryl's store. A squirrels team just have to keep trying. Okay, Red Mario. We'll have a look at that in a sec. Let me just see if we've added the shops before we uh, do anything else. Hmm. Interesting. I think we have to actually visit them then, don't we? Okay, yeah, everyone in chat saying you have to actually open them. And to exit hit triangle. Yeah, I've got that, Renoa. <laughs> Whacking all the uh, buttons and then trying will actually work, you right. Hey, Neil, thanks for subbing. Oh, we can actually purchase power wrists now, can we? After we managed to mug one. We can actually purchase all of the good stuff now. Such as for Renoa's ultimate weapon and stuff. And I guess for Irvine's as well. Can't remember, I'll have to look into that. Uh, what's the next one? Right, that's the one we just did. So let's do clouds next. I don't think getting the item actually counts. We have to actually open the shop, don't we? Right, next up is Johnny's. Oh, that one can't be opened right now, unfortunately. It's a shame. Hey, Rene Hartley. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Right, this is the junk shop. You've still got two more ultimate weapons to craft. We're getting there. Uh, we can definitely do Renoa's as well very soon. Okay, keep checking Johnny's shop until it opens. We'll do Red Mario. Right, this is where we can purchase all the stuff. I'll we can purchase Combat King for. Uh, but I'm not going to because we get it for free, don't we? Oh, no, I've already done this one. Right, Johnny's shop. That does not seem to want to open for me. Oh, there we go. Oh, we've got a high potion, okay. Okay, the shop is definitely going to remain closed, it seems. But you just get a free item. Uh, 
Okay, we can get a high potion and a mega potion from Johnny's shop. It does not seem to want to open at all, though. Ah, you're right. Absolutely, Red Mario. It does open. Thank you. Wonderful stuff. And finally, the only other one we got left to do is... Did we do Karen's bookstore? Yes, we did. So we just got Cheryl's now, which never opens, does it? Right, let's just press the up key rather than the down key there. And this is how we can get a Rosetta Stone for free, isn't it? Yeah, thanks, Red Mario. Just got it. As you probably saw. The delay in chat is really annoying. Yay, we got the Rosetta Stone. Awesome. I don't think there's any other items to grab there. So we'll hit triangle. Oh, get through that first. Okay, so now if we go to ability and call shops, they're all there. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, I think they're all okay. Uh, the only one that isn't there, it seems, is Johnny's shop. Did I not go to that? Or is it just, oh, they just don't have the names on, do they? I thought there were six, five, I mean. I'm only counting four. There was six on the screen, wasn't there? And one, which was the one we got the Rosetta Stone from, couldn't be opened. No, I think we got it all. We must have done, because we opened all of them, so. Uh, anyway, the Rosetta Stone is awesome, because it teaches us ability times four on one of our Guardian Forces. We only have it on one at the moment. So we'll certainly be getting it on two, uh, once I decide a Guardian Force to give it to. But now that we've got the shops sorted, we can actually make a whole ton of money, can't we, by... Uh, I think it's tents, or is it cottages, one or the other. Uh, let's go and save anyway at this point. Since we've added all the shops and stuff. Alright then, folks. Did I save then? I think so. Okay, well, I think on that note, we'll take a break. I only wanted to do an hour today since it was a bonus stream. Uh, Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays are my stream days. But hey, I wanted to play some more Final Fantasy VIII. So we've got a cheeky Tuesday stream in there as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for everybody that stopped by. Uh, I know that you guys weren't expecting it, so it's great that you still all were able to make it. At least those who did. For those that couldn't, if you watch this on archive, uh, sorry you couldn't join us. But hey, thanks for stopping by anyway. And if you can come on the next stream, then that would be superb. Uh, I'm missing Win Hill, am I, Elijah? Yeah, I don't think that's missable. I'll get that then. Thanks for pointing that out to me, though. But, all right then, folks. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow for more Final Fantasy VIII. I'll try and get some uploads done as well for the rest of the afternoon. I know it's, like, quite a lot of content. But, overall, I think it's worth it because we get a nice playlist then. With all the various videos for, you know, all the bits in Final Fantasy VIII that you might want to look at in future. So, yeah, while we're going through the playthrough, I guess it's kind of annoying at times to be getting two or three or four videos a day. Uh, but I'm trying to think long term. And once we've got that nice 150 video playlist, like we have for Final Fantasy XII, it just helps a lot of folks. Which is the name of the game, really. So, appreciate your guys' support as always. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get the Abyss Worm card, Rain, from the ones in the cafeteria. It's been a few weeks since I did it myself, but I think that's the best place to get them. You only need five for a hundred tornado. Obviously, if you want a hundred on every party member, you'll want to get fifteen. But they do refine quite highly. Yeah, cheers, folks. Thanks for stopping by. And Roxana, we're just leaving now. And Anorexic Hippo, sorry to say that we have just about finished. Elijah, thanks for subbing, appreciate it. But yeah, I will be back tomorrow, same time, 2 to 2.30pm UK time. I'll make sure to schedule the stream an hour or so before I actually go live. So hopefully you guys will be notified of that. 
Uh, although with YouTube, you probably won't be, I'll be honest with you. There's not really much I can do, unfortunately, about the fact that YouTube does not seem to like to notify people of when live streams are about to start. But hopefully, you never know. You might get a wee notification if you're lucky. Yeah, thanks, Anorexic Hippo. Appreciate it. Yeah, take care, everybody. See you soon.